Hi guys, my name is Mel. I teach clay hand building here at Brett Create. And today we're gonna to do a simple little clay hand building project. And this could be for kids and adults. You can modify it um, for adults to make it a little bit more um, decorative versus a little bit more fun like this one here. But we're gonna make one similar to this uh, today. So the first thing, uh, let's go over the materials that you'll be needing. I'm gonna put this to the side. You're gonna need a uh, bowl of water and a paintbrush. And if you don't have a paintbrush, you can use your finger. You're going to need a piece of string. You're going to need a rolling pin, an X-Acto knife or a um, steak knife or fruit knife. Um, also, just to be aware, make sure uh, you have adult supervision if you're going to be letting children use these. Uh, maybe give them a butter knife or maybe cut them, cut it out for them. But be careful because those are very sharp. You'll need a wooden spoon, a fork, um, a possibly a screwdriver with a, a, a Phillips tip uh, for some texture. That's uh, optional. You're going to need some paper some uh, marker, a uh, pencil, and some scissors. So the first step you wanna do is draw your template, your fish template. Um, you can jump online and you can um, find some simple outline or cut up shapes of a fish. So I'm gonna just kinda freehand it. So I'm gonna actually draw it towards you. Here's the top. Boop. And that, this is where the pencil comes in. Um, because we're just sketching it with the pencil. So there's my body, maybe make it a little bit bigger. So what's good about the pencil is you can make as many lines. And then I'm gonna do the fins back here. I'm gonna do a little different, this one's got two uh, little fins like that. I'm gonna do it a little different, or maybe just do it simple like that. Or maybe come in like that. Cool, you can see that, okay. All right, so my next step, I'm going to use a Sharpie. So this will be my definite line. This will be the line that I will use to follow to cut with my scissors. So that's why we made all those pencil lines so we can figure out which definite line we do want. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so something like that. And then I'm gonna make a little curve right there. Cool, so we have our fish outline. So next I'm going to put this out. And you can do small, smaller fish. Um, this one's a good size because I like to have a, a big pocket. This fish will have a little pocket you can put little plants in it or you can put um, pencils in it or something and hang it on the wall, something cute. You don't have to put anything in it at all. All right, so I have my fish cut out. So now I'm gonna set this stuff aside because we don't need that at the moment. I'm gonna pull my five pound square of clay that I purchased online through brettcreate.com or brettcreate.org, excuse me. Okay, now I'm gonna take my books and set them side by side like this. I'm gonna move my clay this way, actually. And this is going to help me cut a straight line through the clay um, so that I don't have inc any inconsistency or, or a wobbly piece to deal with. This will be easier to roll out since it'll be a little bit equal. All right. Take that string, run it across the top of those books. All right. So looking at something like that, and then we'll just roll this out to the desired thickness we need. 
whatever clay you're not using, I recommend wrapping it back up in some plastic so that it stays moist so you can do it for some other projects. All right. So this is kind of a long, I'll bring this back into the frame, a long piece. So we're gonna roll it a couple times this way and then always remember to pick it up and move it and roll it the other direction. You're looking for evenness and consistency. You don't want um, one big lump in the middle. You kind of want it all the same thickness. After a couple rolls, switch it up, move it on your table so it doesn't get stuck to your table. A regular kitchen table would be best, would preferably. Um, if you have newspaper at home, you can use newspaper underneath. Sometimes it sticks a little bit. But I think a wood kitchen table would work just fine. Okay, so we're looking at something like that. I'm actually going to make it a little bit thinner. I feel like it's a little thick. And then I'll show you in the video of what thickness you're looking for. You don't want it too thin because it'll be too fragile. So something like that. Okay, let's see, about a pencil thickness. It's a good way to test it. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my template that I cut out earlier. I'm gonna place it on my clay. Maybe a little piece on there. And I'm actually gonna place it over here so that I can possibly fit another template here to make two fish or make a smaller template and be able to stick it on there. So let's try and conserve and save some of the stuff we've already rolled out. So since this is paper, I'm not gonna cut it all the way. I'm just going to trace over this edge just so we can get the tracing of the shape down. All right, fill that off. So we have our nice fish silhouette or fish shape. I'm gonna go here and start cutting out with my X-Acto knife. We want this one solid piece, so make sure keeping it all intact, the tail and the body. Peel this unwanted clay away. Put this to the side because we'll want to use that. Okay, cool. So you're going to have something like this. So you have two options. You can um, start decorating here and stop here and it will just be a flat piece, a little flat decorative wall piece or something. Um, or if you want to continue, you can make this little pocket, um, which I did. Um, and you can put uh, pencils in it or succulents in it or something. That's kind of that's kind of cute. Okay, so let's make the pocket for this. So I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna bring back my scrap here, and I'm gonna grab my shape back because the pocket is made from the rest of its body. So I'm gonna just use this part here to do another piece. I'm actually gonna roll it out just a little bit more. There you go. All right, still trying to conserve some clay, thinking about, oh, I could probably use that end in this end over here. I'm gonna just do a light trace. Okay, peel that guy off, cut this out. Now, I have a high cut up here. I'm gonna bring it a little bit lower so our opening is a little bit lower down here. So instead of cutting it up here, I'm gonna bring it back down here and cut it. All right, let's peel this away. So now we have something like 
bring this guy back into the picture. So this guy will lay on top when we lay him profile. Just like that. See that? Okay. So the next step I want to do is take my thumb and put a little bit of pressure and make a little indentation here. We're just flattening it just a little bit. I'm gonna take it and move it up this way. This kind of creates a little tab um, and expands it a little bit more so we have our pocket, uh, a bigger pocket for more space. So it kind of widens it. Also gonna run my finger to the on the top and get rid of these sharp edges. We don't want any sharp edges on here. All right. And that start, should start looking like that. Okay. I'm gonna bring this guy back. I'm gonna size him up, make sure he looks good. I'm not gonna smash him in yet, just kinda taking a look, stepping back and seeing how he looks. Cool. Looks good to me. I'll give you a, a show. There's a little pocket there. Okay, so before I attach it though, I want to do some of this texture and design before I get into um, putting it on there. Because when, if we're trying to put texture and design on here, uh, when we push down, it might push this. We could stick some newspaper and stuff in there like that, but we're going to try to avoid that and just get the texture done now. So I'm going to Move that guy up here and move this guy down here. So to do um, scales like this, I used a pencil. So I'm going to have, I'm going to turn him this way so I can kind of get an idea. So I'm going to have the uh, head shape here, which is this line right here. And I'm going to just draw it in just like that. Okay. You can get creative. You don't have to uh, put his head there. You don't have to make that line. Um, at this point, you have a lot of freedom to just do whatever designs or do whatever you want on this top part. But if you wanted to make a fish, this is how you would do it. Okay, I'm also going to do my little eye. And I'm kind of doing this upside down. But I'll show you in a second. <laughs> I'm going to use the end of my pencil too. So there's my little face. Now I'm gonna start doing the scales and they're just little shapes like this. And they don't have to be perfect. The cool thing about clay is if you mess up, say I messed up right there, I just take my finger, rub over it, and then you could do it over again. Give him a little smiley face. Okay, cool. Now we're ready to stick him on to our main fish body. I'm gonna move this guy back towards me. So before we do that, I'm gonna score all these edges here. We want to make a scored surface so that my clay can adhere a little bit better. And I'm just doing it on the part where I think it's gonna go. This is where our water comes in. I'm going to flip him upside down for right now. Put a little bit of water here. That's all you need. I'm going to place this guy over. Let me move him in a different direction so you could probably see better. Yeah, there we go. Line him up so that we have a little pocket. Don't forget that little pocket space. Just like that. And I'm going to smush in those sides. To connect with that clay. Let's go to the other side. All right, taking my finger, smoothing it out a little bit. Same on this side. All right. My <laughs> pointy little nose. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go in, make this pocket a little bit bigger with my spoon. And I'm gonna put, put my hand over it for support because I don't wanna poke a hole through it. I'm using this end of the spoon to push out. So I'm pushing in and then pushing, pulling it out. So pushing in, pushing it out, and making sure to drag that top of that spoon to really open up that pocket. him up. While you're working on yours, you want to keep it flat on the table. I'm continuously picking it up so I can show you guys more of what you're looking for. But as you're working on it, I keep it flat on the table. So here's your nice little pocket inside. So a couple things I want to do before we're done. I'm going to take my finger with a little bit of water and I'm going to clean up these edges because we don't want sharp edges. Just smoothening it out. Just like this. And then I want to start thinking about how I'm going to hang it. So we can uh, Gorilla Glue a hook on the back when it's done and fired, or we can go ahead and pre-cut a hole uh, at the top like this one for easy hanging. There's the hole right there. Okay. So I'm going to use my pencil to do that, and I'm going to just pick a spot, drill it down, if you have something that's a little bit thinner, you can do that like a chopstick or whatever if you don't like the thickness of the hole that this one creates. Not a big deal. Just put a hole there. And then I'm actually going to add a little bit of texture on here for the fins. All right, and then maybe a little something in here. Just get creative and go with the flow. Cool. All right, so this one looks about done. Let me just pinch this up here, make it a little bit more widened, wider opening here, if that's what you desire. Cool. All right, let me pick this up and show you. So here is our wall planter fish. Very cute, you can put stuff inside. So I would leave this uh, uh, on a flat surface for a day covered with a piece of plastic. Then the next day you can remove that plastic and let it dry slowly. There'll be finishing instructions on the Brett Create website as to how to come back and glaze, and get it fired and pick it up. So make sure you read those instructions. Um, this is a fun project. Um, we do some stuff similar to this in my clay hand building class, which is every uh, Friday night from 6 to 8 30. I hope you and your kids had fun making this project and we hope to see you soon. Thanks